Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Munhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will walk through the steps to install and configure Hyper-V Role on Windows Server 2025 core. There are multiple options to install Hyper-V Role on Windows Server 2025 core. We can use PowerShell to locally install Hyper-V Role. If remote management is enabled on server core, we can also use server manager or windows admin center to install the Hyper-V role remotely. Since we don't have a bare metal physical server, we will use our Hyper-V lab environment to demonstrate the steps involved. In the previous video, we installed Windows Server 2025 core in a Hyper-V virtual machine. Now we will install the Hyper-V server role on Windows Server 2025 core. By default, Hyper-V VMs do not support enabling a nested hypervisor layer inside the guest operating system. There are specific processor requirements needed to enable a nested hypervisor layer. To enable the nested hypervisor, we need to run a PowerShell command to expose virtualization extensions from the Hyper-V hypervisor layer to the VM itself. On the Hyper-V host, open Windows PowerShell. Right click the Windows Start button and select Terminal Admin to launch the PowerShell with administrative permissions. Run the get -vm PowerShell command to identify the name of the VM we are going to work with. The VM we will be using is named WS2K25-Core01. Check the state of that VM. Currently, WS2K25-Core01 virtual machine is powered off. Type the command set hyphen VM processor ws2k25 hyphen core 01 hyphen expose virtualization extensions dollar true. Press enter to enable nested virtualization for the VM ws2k25 hyphen core 01. To allow network packets to be root through two virtual switches, MAC address spoofing must be enabled on the first level virtual switch. Basically, if you are using nested virtualization in a VM, you also need to enable MAC address spoofing for that VM. Type the command sat vm network adapter ws2k25 core 01 hyphen MAC address spoofing on and press enter to enable MAC address spoofing on the VM. Now we are ready to install the Hyper-V role on the server core VM. Go back to Hyper-V manager. Right click on ws2k25 core 01 and select start. Again right click on WS2K25-Core01 and select connect. Log into the server core machine using the administrator account. At sconfig, type 15 and press enter to exit. At PowerShell, type the command install hyphen windows feature hyphen name hyper v hyphen include management tools hyphen restart. Press enter to install the hyper v server role along with all management tools on the local server. Wait for the installation process to finish. It should automatically reboot the server when the installation is successful. Type 15 and press enter key. To verify the Hyper-V role is installed, type the command get windows feature hyphen name Hyper-V and press enter. If the Hyper-V role is installed, you should see installed next to Hyper-V in the output. From the output, we can confirm that the Hyper-V role has been successfully installed on our Windows Server 2025 code machine. Next, we may need to configure a virtual switch to enable communication between virtual machines. First, let's get the list of all network adapters present on this server. Type the command get net adapter and press enter. Note down the name of the network adapter as it will be required when creating the virtual switch. Type the command new hyphen vm switch hyphen name external v switch 01 hyphen net adapter name ethernet hyphen allow management os true. Press enter to create an external virtual switch using the ethernet adapter and allow the management os to share the adapter. Type the command get hyphen vm switch and press enter to verify that the external switch was created successfully. Now you can create a virtual machine and install the guest operating system on it. We have successfully installed and configured the Hyper-V role on the Windows Server 2025 core machine. That's all for this video. 
I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.